Welcome to Refashion Revision, where I take outdated clothes and update it into new. In this episode, I'm taking this large woman's coat and making it into a coat slash dress for my little girl. What you need for this project is an oversized coat, pins, matching thread, and scissors. The vision I had for this dress is a very classy and elegant look that can be worn as a coat and also a dress. Cut the sleeves off on both sides. Make sure the patterns are all lined up and because these are all little tiny squares, I was able to cut along that line and I didn't even have to measure, yay! You guys, what in the world? Look, it's not straight. <laughs> How about me bragging that since it's this design, I don't even have to measure, but no, look, it's uneven. It seems like it's just the back, so I'm gonna have to cut this and cut this a little bit to even it out, but fail. So basically what I'm doing is I separated all the parts and I'm making it smaller and sewing it back together. Let's take mm, these million tags off. <laughs> I don't know why there are so many tags. One, two. Three, four, five. Okay, million was the exaggeration. Just a slide. Make the bodice smaller by cutting off and narrowing down the shoulders and the sides. Make the sleeves smaller. And I wanted to keep the hem of the sleeves because it's less work, so I cut it towards the end. Now that all the parts are sewn smaller, you flip it into that and now it's time to sew it back together. You sew the sides, then sew the sleeve closed, and sew the sleeves onto the shoulders, Sew the sides of the skirt in an A-line shape, then sew it onto the bodice. I just eyeballed it, but if that makes you nervous, you can draw a line to trace along. After sewing it in an A-line, cut off the excess fabric. Back. Whoa, it looks so much better. You think? Oh shoot! Huh. Oh no! Huh. I cut something too much. <gasps> it's okay. Yeah, don't look at art while you're cutting. So I just took in the sides a little more to sew it closed. Now that the skirt's done for now, we take in the sides of the bodice. Cut off the excess fabric on the sides. Attach the bodice and the skirt together and make sure that all the lines match. Now all we have to do is attach the sleeves onto the dress. Now we're done. This is the before and the after. Doesn't she look so classy and elegant? I love how it turned out. How about you? There wasn't much fabric left over, but using the scraps, I was able to make a clip-on bow that she can wear on her hair or on the dress. Leave a comment below on what you prefer. Do you prefer on the dress or on the hair? Thank you so much for watching. If you like this refashion, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And come back next week.